Hey everybody, Larson here, and welcome back to some more Enter the Gun. I think you should start off with that. It's like fall off the, the fucking cliff, like, hey. Remember guys, exclusive content. Oh, so exclusive video content for, what the fuck? <laughs> She's relaxing. She, I don't know why the fuck he has that, but whatever. What the hell is good? We can buy the RPG. Let's buy Hot Lead. That sounds like a passive. I think more passives is better. We don't got anything else to spend our hegemony money for, so that's fine. Hegemony money. Okay, let's start off with the combat. So, like I said, I'm not gonna do what NL does. And I'm not gonna go straight shotgun stress. I wish I could, but my shotgun meta is not that great. You know, I'm like right up close to per personal with these enemies. I still like the budget of all. It's really, it's pretty good for a basic gun. Let's go! Don't let him get hit. If I had to do a tier list, but I don't know it's random, but I'm curious, like, out of the tier list, where would I put the combat? It's kind of hard. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, just the way they come with. Like, all of them. I say the first will probably have to be the Marine. I think he's just Flau the strongest character in the beginning. Uh, well, actually, I can't say that because we, we, I don't know what the co-op character comes with. But maybe the co-op character is maybe the strongest character, but aside from the co-op character, I say the Marine. The Marine, the Hunter. So we blew that one up. It's not fun. It'll probably would have came with garbage anyway. We want to save our keys for good chests, not brown ones. Brown ones is like white in Diablo or fucking Borderlands. This is not worth it. And if you guys don't know me, well, you guys definitely don't know me, but in games that have specific colors, I treat white like it's absolute garbage. I'm talking about like, it could be the strongest weapon in the game, and it's a white, I'm just like, nope. I don't want it. Give me something else next, please. But anyway, I'm trying to think who would be the yeah the marine. I say the 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 hunter because the, the the shotgun. I mean the the crossbow is so good in beginning in like the, the beginning game. It can wait. It can really help you out. Like, kill the killing some enemies. Oh, I didn't know there was more enemies here. Should know that. Should definitely know those more that way. Do I say the convict is second to last? Well, I'm trying to think of like base stats. So the fact that Hunter comes with the crossbow makes her really, really good. And the dog sometimes re unreliably, but sometimes he brings you items. Man, man, nice. Buy the health if I need it. I might. So, what were the convicts at? Is the thing is that the, it's like between the convict and the pilot. The budget revolver is better than the rogue special. Granted, it's more accurate. It uh, fires more um, frequently. The only thing is that the pilot, the shotgun is. I don't like it. The sawed off is actually not that great. 
It actually doesn't even do that much damage. And the pilot, you know, is a 50% chance. That uh that uh Lanka can save you a lot of heartache. Like so a chest that you don't wanna waste a key on, you can just use a fucking lockpick and if you break it you can just shoot the chest. That's why I'm like maybe the pilot is like and on top of it, he has he can hold two active items. Which is like really good. Like for late games. Or ain't late games, but if you wanna have like the you wanna have the lockpick and then like a good like double vision or something like really a very good uh, strong passive that is very effective and yeah I can see that. Granted the Molotov is really good but it's only situation. So it doesn't really work on flying. Try to think what else like yeah, I think the I think the pilot is not the strongest, definitely, but the lockpick makes it like top two of four. I think probably the combo maybe like not the worst character, but probably the hardest character to grasp. This is that shotgun. Even though she does have that energy damage, which is really good, but I mean that not energy damage, but the the damage boost it doesn't make her. Viable. Like that. You have to take they just have one like, take, like, you kill enemies and just get stronger. Let me see. But as I said, you guys can tell me in the comments below who you guys think is like the best. I really still do. I strongly believe that the Marine, I think the Marine is always gonna get like the, the best, uh, like the, the, yeah, the Marine's definitely the strongest. I, I see that. Well, I'm, 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 a Zan, I'm like speaking as if you guys are commenting. But it'd be like, hey, you know, I think the Marine's really great too. And then, and then oh, and then you guys like, hey, you know, I think the pilot's great for blah, 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 blah. Come on, they all have their strengths and they all have their weaknesses. Is it that the Marine doesn't have much weaknesses on what I can say? So the shopkeeper didn't have really anything in stock. We might want to buy health. Is I walk into the wall? What the hell is this? Jar of bees. These been these bees have been carefully trained to hunt down enemies, mutations, and destroy them. So it's kind of like Guppy's head in Isaac. Well, in the sense that you just summon stuff to help you. I'm trying to see where the. Anyway, we're going now. So we really just gonna sh sh shoot him with the fucking revolver. Yay! Well, at least it's got duel, so it's not that hard. Let's use these. Go fast. Yeah. That is uh, how these bees go. Up ahead, uh, the bees definitely don't come back as fast. Well, oh, damn it. Uh, I hate the fact that I suck. I said, it depends highly on my on my weapons. I can't I don't think I could beat the Gatling or anyone with my my budget revolver just yet. Soon I will be. Keep in mind, like I said before, some people who they start that it's like pretty much blind less like that. You know, they get slow they slowly progress. And with repetition they get better. You know, they start understanding, hey, I know exactly how to dodge it is. Not one dumb fucking stupid bad damage like that. 
Granted, dumb damage is not is just something you just always get to take. Or not always, but it's something people take. Something is a real thing that you know people is like you see a shot and you're like, oh man, how can I get hit with such a such a painfully obviously pointing an attack? Like you, you just get hit and then it's not your fault that you just sometimes you not pay attention. Sometimes com when you're commentating, that gets the best of you. So when you talk in the background while you're playing this game, you just forget. And then you just like, oh shit, and then you dodge the bullet. Or you just get hit by the bullet. But more than that, yeah. Why did I get hit? I thought it was, I was okay. I thought it was clear. Nice. Thank you. This is why sometimes the tables are really good, because you use them as good to cover. Wow, two dollars. Damn, we're rich. Like, you see the amount of money we have right now? Two dollars. Try to see, try to be cute. I was. I saw the bullet and I knew I could roll out of it. I just went, fuck it. If it hits me, it hits me. She never do stuff like that. So we have the skull split. I think we used that one time with the Marine. Is that a really good boss? Like that? We also have the wind up guns. We really. I think we uh, need it. This is really bad damage. Like really, really, really ugly damage. I don't know. I don't know why I'm off the game right now. It's really bad. Maybe it's the conflict. Maybe I'm just not feeling the conflict. Maybe I need to go back and like dig it over. Like maybe like I just don't feel like playing the conflict because I know it's kind of like it's not the greatest. I don't want to stick with the marine and hunter for now because this feels like it is coming out. Oh, maybe next the next episode I'll try to uh, pilot again. Give him, a, give him a nice little uh, play around. Make sure that he's loved and knows that he's known. And we didn't forget about him. You don't blow up. So far, I've been keeping up my schedule too with my uh, games as well. Like, I, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with, my, with me in, in general, but I've been doing Gungeon every day, which has been so far a success except for one time where I had to do like literally an episode. Like, I don't know how it was like 30 minutes left before the day was over. I mean, like an hour left. So I had to do like a quick episode, post it up on YouTube, and hope that it came in time. Wow, two brown chips. That's great. I'm talking about like as far as like my other content comes. I have like I've been successfully uh, posting up every time. Like I've been keeping my schedule the Monday through Friday certain games and then the weekend specials. Sometimes like again, give me, let me know you guys. Every weekend it's not gonna always be a game. It might just be a into the dungeon episode. That's it. You know, sometimes I just won't have a weekend episode. Because, you know, I think the content provided enough. Sometimes you might get three episodes in a weekend because I still do breakdowns from time to time. So, you know, breakdowns take a lot of time to process, then edit, then I have to make sure that it's actually playing good. I gotta make sure whatever I'm talking about makes sense. I gotta make sure I'm accurate. I gotta sound like a nerd apparently because some people turn tell me I'm so, I sound like an idiot. But it's cool. I told them, I said it's fine. As long as people understand what I'm saying. As long as people enjoy the content I bring, that's all that matters to me. What the hell? Oh shit. Sorry. Really sorry. Never happening again.
He gave me 25 bucks. Damn it. You know what? We're doing it again. What's he talking about? Hey, shopkeeper. I don't like you. I don't like the fact you're vandalous. Do you want to do this? Let's go. Can we kill the shop up? We will do it. What the hell? What the hell happened? I challenge you to Mortal Kombat. You saw that? Wow. Let's go, shopkeeper. We're shooting all over your store. We show the shopkeeper who's boss. We're gonna die anyway, so why the fuck not? And the wheel, I want to use my nozzle. If I fucking do that, it's not gonna affect bullet game, but. Actually, I should forgot that I use all my blanks. Fucking around with the shopkeeper. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, damn. That was fun. We pissed off the shopkeeper, but this time we officially pissed him off. So we saw what happens when you shoot him enough. They decide to actually fight him. He actually gets, he actually runs away like a little pussy. You scared little bitch. What kind of shopkeeper are you? You run away instead of fighting. You afraid of a little convict? I challenge you. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed what you see. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, to see more, enter the gun as I continue playing this game and struggling. It's pretty hard. Like I said, it's not the easiest game. Till then, guys. I know I don't know why I took such a like brief pause. I'm just like, till again, guys. I'll see you next time.